Hey everybody, Mike here at Amish Tutorials, and welcome back to part two of our robot guy. Okay, so in part one, we modeled this guy, and in this video, we're gonna texture and light the robot. Okay, so let's start off by getting rid of our uh, image plane here. So we're just gonna select that and hit delete, and we're gonna drag select this guy. We're gonna hit Control G to group it to make sure that it's grouped. And then what we're gonna do is from our top view, let's hit W, go to modify center pivot. Let's move that roughly to the center of our grid. And we're gonna go to edit, delete by type, history, and modify freeze transformations, okay? From this view, we're gonna make sure that, this, that our robot is standing on our grid. And there we go, okay? Now, I want the overall texture to be mainly uh, white with a high reflection. So what we'll do is we'll just apply an overall material and then we'll go back and then we'll tweak the details, okay? Now, because I want to um, add texture to individual components, I'm gonna go up to mesh and separate. Let's try that again. There we go. So now we can select individual sections, okay? So we're gonna select the whole thing. We're gonna right click, assign new material, and we'll do a blend. And we'll make that blend white. And we're gonna go down to reflectivity. And let's set that up to 1.5 to start with, okay? So now we have some decisions to make, okay? Now I want all these guys to be black. So kind of these cylindrical shapes. So these and these, and we'll take these guys as well on the hands and so forth. And we'll move over and we'll do the same here. Okay. And we're gonna right click, assign new material, a new blend. We're gonna go up to color. We're gonna make that black. And we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna set reflectivity to 1.5 as well. Okay. So now that we got that, we're gonna select a few areas that we want to have um, in a different setup. Actually, this guy needs to be in black as well. So we're gonna right click, assign existing material. That's gonna be our blend two. There we go. And for this center piece here, I want that to be a different color, okay? So we're gonna right click, assign new material. We're gonna do a Fong E. We're gonna go in and we're gonna turn that to green. And we're gonna go down to, uh, let's see, where is that setting again? Special effects. And we're gonna increase the glow intensity Let's do one for now, okay? Then let's go into the eyes. And there, we're gonna right click, go to face. And we're gonna start to select these faces. And we're gonna do the same at this end. Oops, right click face. And we're gonna right click assign the material. We're gonna go with MIA underscore X, material tab, presets. 
glass solid and replace like so all right then we're going to get into the nuts and bolts if you will so we're going to take this guy we'll take that one uh, it looks like i skipped a few here we'll need to fix that i'll take these three and these three and then we'll take these guys on the back of his head right click assign new material and my a material presets chrome and replace so we'll soon find out if we have everything first let's fix this one two and three there we go right click assign existing material and that was our blend two okay and then we're going to take our arms and adjust the arms and let's go in and right click assign the material mia presets and we're going to go to satin metal and replace like so let's do the same for the neck here existing material there we go and then we're going to take this section right here and we'll right click sign new material actually not a new material that's an existing material we'll do the blend two on that one and we still have this guy right here that needs to be tweaked a little bit i think assign existing material mia2 like so now this is a pretty good basis so what we're going to do next is we're going to create a plane for the robot to stand on let's stretch that out like so and then we're going to right click go to edge take that edge and go to edit mesh and extrude hit w pull that up and then select that edge and go to edit mesh and bevel and in our attribute editor we're going to increase the number of segments to 10 and we're going to bring back the fraction just a little bit okay we're going to give some material to that so right click object mode assign new material and we'll do a fong e and we'll make that black there we go and now let's start to set up some lights create lights area light let's pull that up we're going to hit seven on our keyboard so we can see the effect of our light and we have our t handle down here so that's fine i'm going to hit r i'm going to scale it up just a bit like so we're going to hit control d to duplicate w go back control z hit t first and then move it and hit the control d again move it once more and take this guy control d to duplicate and pull that one up a little bit okay now we're going to look for a nice uh, render angle first we're going to set up a resolution gate like so then we're going to go to our render settings we're going to switch to mental ray because we use various mental ray uh, materials 
We're going to go down to the Common tab and we're going to switch to an image size of HD 1080. In our Quality tab, let's bring the overall quality up to about 1.5 and the lighting quality as well. And that looks all right. We can go to our scene. Nothing really important that we need to change there. In Diagnostics, we're going to go uh, sorry, just let me find the correct screen here. As you know, it all uh, changed up quite a bit in 2016. So I'm just uh, looking at my right menu. Okay, it's under Diagnostics and we're going to go to Global Illumination Generating. And we're going to turn that on and receiving we'll turn it on as well and that's it for now okay in our scene we're going to go to image based lighting and hit create on that and then we're going to minimize it we're going to go to a file and we're going to select an hri image to use so it's lagging a little bit we'll just give that one second Okay, so Maya, HRI, let's go with Sky 12, here we go. So now I'm going to hit render, I'm going to pause the video and let's see what we get, okay, see you in a bit. Right guys, well this is our final render, uh, I did one little tweak uh, in the render, I changed the green fong material to green glass, so the uh, MIA uh, preset solid glass. I thought it looked a bit better, but all in all, uh, that's it. And so this is a simple way to model a basic robot and uh, hope you like it and I'd love to see you guys again. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.